Hi guys, welcome back to my video. If you're new to this channel, stick around because there's plenty more videos with a lot more information on. So in this video, I'm talking about how I profited in my first business in its first month. So in the previous video, I spoke to you about how I started up my first business, but a month down the line, I made profit and I made enough profit to cover all of my startup costs, all of my marketing costs, and made my own profit. And I want to speak to you today about how I did that. So previously I told you about how I knew who my customer was, which was a huge benefit, because when I was using Facebook marketing and Instagram, I knew exactly who my demographics were, and I knew how to narrow them down. So I'd spent a good time on market research, I planned out how I was going to market the business and my goals. And my goals were to make back my startup costs in the first month and to reach 500 likes on my Facebook page. And I did both. As I said, I made profit, so that my first goal succeeded. And within the first month, I also achieved 1,000 likes on the Facebook page. So by achieving 1,000 likes, because my demographics were so narrow, my ad was in front of people's faces who were relevant to the business and who had an interest. So by spending sort of a couple of pounds every couple of weeks on Facebook marketing, I got the brand in front of potential customers who showed an interest. I also ran a competition for a free giveaway and this was organic, there was no money put behind it which involved a like, tag and share. So the people who'd already liked the page saw it and the people who saw it getting shared saw it. And in total, it reached 200 interactions, which this saw a huge development in the Facebook likes and the overall Facebook interaction. And after doing this giveaway, this was sort of my first marketing idea that I had and the first main post that I got out there and it was sort of after I got that out that the order started coming in. The start of the business was a bit frustrating because sort of when I first launched the website there's a lot of interaction and the website had a low bounce rate and was attracting a lot of visitors but I wasn't really, I didn't really have any sales for the first 10 days but because I knew that I had attracted a lot of people to the website, I wanted to get the brand back out there. So I took on board what I learned 45 gallon drums and about how successful remarketing was there and put that into casual apparel, which again, that saw a rise in sales. So this was again taking advantage of Google remarketing and Facebook Pixel. The orders that did come in were consistent. So it wasn't that a case of I had two orders one week and on the next and then five. I was averaging sort of the same amount of orders every week and fortunately the amount of orders each week were growing. The way in which I did this was again just by making people wear the brand. And one of my marketing strategies that I had planned was I wanted to get the bit, rather than people come to me, I wanted to get the business out in their faces which is why I was always getting on Facebook. Always, I think I had always a couple of posts going out every day on Facebook. I always had some sort of advert going around on Facebook and Instagram. And I was always talking about the business, which I think if I'd have let the sales come in organically and not get the brand aware, people aware of the brand, I don't think the business would have grown as quick. It's definitely worth taking the time to plan how you're going to market your business. Whether it takes you a couple of weeks to get your head around it, or whether it takes a couple of months, it's always worth knowing how you want to do it. And even if a couple of weeks down the line, you completely change your idea because something's not working, it's always great to have a plan, to plan out how you're going to market your business. And it's always good to set goals because if you don't have anything that you want to work towards, what's the point in doing it? So thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I hope you picked up some good tips along the way. If you do have any comments, feel free to get in touch. I look forward to seeing you next time.